Hey everyone, it's Houndex here, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to record some really super smooth clips for your montages. These clips are going to be really smooth and will feel like as if you're playing on a higher refresh rate monitor, and it will have some motion blur. The game I'm recording in this video is Fortnite, but this method may work for other games such as Minecraft and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The software I use to make all of this possible is OBS Studio, which is going to be the screen recorder, and Vegas Pro, which is the video editor. You're going to need both of them. OBS Studio is completely free and open source, but Vegas Pro does cost money, but you can get a free trial from their website or pay around $200. There is a method you can use to get it for free, but that method is against YouTube's terms of service, but you could search it up if you'd like. As always, before we get into the video, if you end up benefiting from this video, then remember to leave a like down below. And if you're feeling super generous, you could also subscribe to the channel. I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers, so it'll really help me a lot if you can. But anyways, enjoy the video. So as you can see, this is what OBS Studio looks like once you have installed it. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead into settings. So I'm going to be basically showing you the settings I use to record my videos. So for the theme, I just use this one. You can change it to whatever you want. Now we're going to want to go to output. Now set it to advanced. I prefer this method. You want to go to recording. Now for type, set it to standard. Just copy all these settings. Make sure to use the NVIDIA NVENC coder or an AMD VCE if you see it show up. Otherwise, then use X264. Personally, use CBR and 80,000 um, kbps for key frame. I just leave it at zero. Reset. I use max quality, but if it lags when you record on this, you may want to like, lower it down to quality and then performance. And profile use high. You can set to main if it doesn't work out for you and then B frames too now you're gonna want to go to audio nothing much here this is you don't really have to touch this part but you just want to select your microphone for sampler I just use 44.1 kilohertz next in video I use 1920 by 1080 for downscale filter I just use bilinear you can use Linksos if you want. And for the FPS, it's gonna look like this, but you wanna set it to in fractional FPS value. And then for numerator, this is a very important step. You wanna go ahead and set it to 144 for if you have a 144 hertz monitor or 240. If you have a 240 hertz monitor. Now, 240 uh, will be a lot more resource intensive, so make sure you have got a pretty good PC in order to record that. For me, I prefer 144 because I have a 144Hz monitor and I don't really need to set to 240. When you're done, you want to go ahead and click apply. Go to advanced. For process priority, you may want to set it to normal or above normal. Uh, I prefer normal if if you have a pretty average PC, but if you've got a good PC, you can set it to above normal. Just copy my settings and you should be good to go. And then when you're done applying all these settings, I highly recommend you using game capture instead of display capture. It's, it's a lot better for games. I uh, just, just set it as any full screen application. Fortnite is basically full screen, so this is perfectly fine. You just want to click add and game capture. I figured that this is much more FPS consistent than display capture. Now, once you have opened up Vegas Pro, it's gonna look like this. I personally use Vegas Pro 17 to edit my videos, but this method will work for pretty much all versions. Now you just wanna go ahead and go to the file and click new. And right here, you're gonna to wanna to copy all these settings I have made in this preset. So for width, 1920 by 1080. Field order, make sure to change it to non progressive scan. And this thing, make sure to change that to best. And the resample mode is the most important uh, setting right here. Make sure you set it to Smart Resample instead of Disable. And when you're done, you just want to click Save. And then, you can take this option if you like, and then click OK. Alright, so I'm going to drag in a clip that I've recorded in 144 FPS. This is a game in creative right here. Um, make sure you, when you right click, go to Switches and make sure you use, take the option where it says Use Project Resample Mode. And then you're good to go. Now, when you're done editing your clip and stuff, you want to go to this render button right here. Render as. Click it. 
and it should bring up the screen you want to go down to magics hevc aac mp4 i personally use this thing to render my videos now as you can see you, there's a bunch of stuff here you want to choose the 1080p 59.94 option with the nvidia end bank i highly recommend using the nvidia end bank option if you see it if you don't then just choose the regular option but make sure it's 59.94 fps now click customize template and you can leave all this default if you like and then you want to get to project make sure you set this option as best that's all we really need to change and then you can just name this template as whatever you want I'm gonna call it 1080p and when you're done make sure you click that save button don't forget to do that and click ok now one important thing to do is that when you're going on the render options make sure that you have this render loop region only unchecked i see sometimes people leave this checked and it only renders a part and when you're done you can just click render so i'm basically gonna edit some clips and put them together as a montage and I'll be right back when it's done. So this is what the final product should look like. It should look something like this. It should be really smooth and much smoother than 60 FPS. If it still doesn't feel like motion blur, then you either forgot to resample the clips or you forgot to record in 144 FPS. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and I'll see you all in the next video.